Hi everyone, Kremlin here from Techies. Today I'm bringing you a review of the recently released CorelDRAW X5 vector editing program. So as you may know from my previous tutorials, I've used CorelDRAW X4 and X3 quite a bit. So I'm going to compare X5 to X4 primarily and look at the differences and upgrades, things like that. So the first thing that you'll notice when you open up CorelDRAW X5 is that it looks essentially the same as X4. So this is X4 that I've just opened up and this is X5. You can see that all the toolbars are the same. The only thing that you'll really notice is different is this document panel right here, but I'll get to what that does in a minute. Alright, so let's go ahead and make a new document. And this is a new feature here. You get this uh, document panel where you can preset all your parameters and stuff as opposed to setting them here in the document like you had to do in X4. But this is really for the more professional um, designer. This doesn't really affect the average user. So, uh, you'll notice that this left sidebar is essentially the same. They did a few fine-tuning jobs on the colors. They made the colors more precise, uh, better to use, um, and a few other tweaks. But no major changes in that regard. Uh, and speaking of colors, this document panel over here, let's demonstrate what it does. Make a circle, fill it with yellow, and as you can see, the color right here pops up as yellow. And this is very useful for if you want to reuse the color in your uh, drawing, and you can have it easily accessible over here. So as you can see, I've went ahead and made this quick little Techies logo to demonstrate rendering and exporting this program. So if you go under File, you'll notice that they added Export to Web and Export to HTML, which are both great for uh, people that do web design and web graphics. So you'll get this uh, panel here which uh, compares the pre-render and after-render, and it can take a while to load, but let's look at the settings here. You can obviously change the different file type here, um, set to PNG. Uh, and you can set the different quality, um, like 8-bit uh, PNGs, things like that, uh, amount of colors used, uh, change transparency and stuff. It's a very useful panel, um, and it's customized for people that do web design, so it's great. Overall, this is more of an upgrade for X4, but it does have some standalone features like the ability to work with Flash, which is rather awesome. Um, but really, if you have X4 uh, and you're happy with it, there's no real reason to upgrade to this, unless you really want to and you really like some of the features pointed out in this review. So thank you, that's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed this review for the techies.